Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God says, this is the reason why you haven't gotten that blessing. This is the reason why you haven't gotten that blessing. Child of God, the Bible says in Jeremiah 17, the verses 5, I read. He says, Thou sayest the Lord, cause be the man that trusted in man. Some other translations say that put their trust in another man. It says, Curse be upon that man and make it flesh his arm and whose heart departed from the Lord. You make flesh your arm and your heart depart from the Lord. Yeah, I know you will say, I trust in man, but my heart has not departed from God. Your heart has departed from God because if you trusted in God, you trusted in the Lord, you will not even think about trusting in man because everyone that trusts in God solely always has a reason to rejoice, always has a reason to thank him. When you trust in man, you trust in, uh, in the arm of flesh, you believe that they are going to give you, you limit the working of God over your life. Now, I tell you this. So many of us are walking around with curses from God. And we do not even know. You pray to God, Father, I need a job. Lord, I need money. But you are, you're, you're, in your mind, you're looking at this uncle or that uncle to give you that money. You already have your plan B sorted out. You're just praying for formalities. That is what God doesn't want. He says, Christ be upon such a person. You pray to God and you so God needs total dependency on him. God is seeking for people who are going to depend on him solely. God is seeking for people who are going to depend on him fully. Because God is reliable. God is dependable. He's, he's trustworthy. If you trust him, you're going to come out with a result. If you believe in him, you're going to come out with a testimony. If you solely depend on him, you're going to come out with something good. He says, curse be upon a man that puts his trust in another man. Or make it flesh his arm. You lean on this friend, you lean on that friend. Now I'll let you know how you are going to know that you depend on man. The first person you think about calling whenever you are happy, whenever you are sad, whenever you are depressed, whenever you feel as to talk to somebody, who do you call first? That is a question I want you to ponder at. Ponder about. Whenever you are distressed, whenever you are hurt, you want to talk to somebody, who do you call first? I'll give you a few scriptures to read in respect to this one I'm reading. This Isaiah, this um, Jeremiah 17, the verses 5. I'll give you Isaiah 2, 21, Isaiah 30, 1 to 3. Who do you call first? When your heart is paining, when someone has broken up with you, when you are about to get that divorce, when that marriage is not working well, when that relationship is at a tight corner, when your finances are dry, you are dry, you are, you are experiencing financial drought, who do you talk to first? When you hear a rumor about you, someone gossip about you, or someone has betrayed you, who do you call first? When your heart feels like you're going to die, you feel like you've heard a news that wants, that wants to kill you, you feel like you're so heavy, who do you call first? Who do you seek to speak with first? Who do you call first when you are so distressed? Child of God, this is a message for you to ponder about. This is how you got to know that you trust in man without even knowing. You depend on man without even knowing. And God is just folding his arms and watching at you. And he's looking at you and waiting for you to come back. Because he's seeking for people who are going to depend on him fully. God is seeking for, 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 for people to become intimate with him. He's seeking for true lovers. He's seeking for true uh, uh, relationships uh, um, people. He's looking for people who are going to be true to him. He says we are the bride of the church. Oh, sorry, the church is the bride of Christ. Yeah, the church is the bride of Christ. And who is the church? We are the church. Imagine you're in a relationship with somebody and the person is going through something and you hear it from another person. You hear it from another person. You're going to feel so bad. You're going to feel so down. And you're going to even query your spouse. 
How can I hear this important thing you're going through from the mouth of another person? That is the same way God feels. We're going through things and we only talk about him about talk to him about some things. He wants to hear about hear everything that is going on in your life. God is interested about everything you are going through. He's interested about even the strands of hair on your head. He says he knows the number. God is interested about you. God is interested in you about everything that concerns you god is interested he loves you he wants you to depend on him you are limiting the work of god in your life without even knowing by trusting in people by depending in people i hope this word blesses you i hope this word brings you back to your lover i hope this word brings you back to christ brings you back to that place of total dependency on god god is reliable in the name of jesus amen